the Schellenberger farm. This is Julie. Um, today we are going to be um, working on a cold frame that I have in mind or a little mini hot house. Oh, it's windy out here today. Um, our temperatures are going to be warming up so that wind is blowing again so that we can get that warmer air. I'm trying to get to a place where I can actually be where I can see um, and not be completely shaded here with my hat, but the sun is nice and bright here. So anyways, today's project um, that I'm going to get started on um, is I'm going to be removing this rose bush behind me um, on the southern side of the house. And my, my plan is that I want to uh, plant some tomatoes over here. But I know that, you know, I'm in Missouri, so I can't get them planted that early. Right? We don't want to, don't want to go buy anything else. So then to create that heat, so what I'm going to do is I will line them kind of here, um, kind of make a horseshoe, sort of, so to speak, out of it. Um, and then I have an old shower door, um, glass shower door, that I'm going to lay on the top of it to help to start warming. So that glass with the, the hay straw around the outside, that should make some really good insulation. And then when you factor in that plus we're on the south side of the house and so that southern sun and then we're brick right so we've got all this brick here and that I don't know if any of you have a brick house um, but it really um, does absorb that heat and it um, also kind of releases it um, I know sitting outside in the summer if we that sun's been hitting it, if we sit next to the house you can just feel the heat coming off the house so that's the I want to use that I want to take advantage of that southern heat um, warming the house that brick up that will just help to warm this spot as well um, for the time we get some tomato plants in the ground so just the other side of that window right there is where we started our seeds inside and so we'll get some of those hardened off hopefully my plants will get big enough that here in another month and get them hardened off outside start getting them used to the temperatures outside and then get them planted in the ground here and maybe that'll give me a jump for uh, market of straw hay and I went and I grabbed the glass door so let's lay this out and see how much exactly we need I only brought two bales down with me at the moment I'm kind of wondering if maybe I'll cut use like half on the sides and then one full one along the front so we'll see
goats are unhappy. Um, so three bales will work best. So I'm gonna run back up and grab another one and then we'll kind of show you the finished piece here. Okay, so here is the finished product. I have a straw belt on each end, or hay bales, and then one across the front, and then my door laying over top of it. So I don't know if you could see in there when I was uh, pulling out that rose bush, because I'm sure some of you are like, why are you pulling out a rose bush? And um, the others will, there's two more, and they'll come out eventually as well um, this spring. So a few years ago, we had a, a little bit warmer winter, and it came out of its dormancy and then we had a really hard freeze so it it kind of killed it off a little bit in the middle I mean there were some pieces that were just like breaking off and and coming right out um and then also it's a hybrid and so what is what I do have new growth coming out down at the bottom um it's a different rose and they just they're just I'm not I'm not crazy about them so <laughs> they're horrible to prune I mean you gotta do it long sleeves and and like today I left that jacket on it's like 55 going on getting up to 60 today um, but as soon as I got done pulling that out um, the jacket came off because it was getting warm but I needed to protect my arms um, so anyways so this is done and um, oh you may have also seen I was raking out the wood chips um, so we mulch with wood chips around the, in the flower beds but for them to break down they rob a lot of nitrogen it takes a lot of nitrogen so they're robbing that out of the ground and i need that nitrogen for my tomatoes so i raked out all of those wood chips and got it down to just the bare dirt for the most part and that rose bush is still in the middle of that and i expect i'll probably get some new shoots out of it my plan is i'm going to dump some soil in there um to amend also since the wood chips have been there and taking away so much nitrogen so i want to get some good garden soil in there before I put the tomatoes in. So here in the next couple weeks, I'll do that so it can also get to warming up inside my little cool frame. Um, so anyway, so yeah, I'm anxious to put a thermometer in there and see how warm it gets inside there. So we'll see how it goes with that frosted glass. I don't know, maybe I'm not doing anything since it's got the frosted glass and the sun can't get through. I'm not sure. Um, then again, it's not clear plastic that you see on top of a hothouse, right? Um, so, so we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't create too much shade though, um, like a shade cloth on that frosted. But since it's not dark, hopefully it doesn't do that. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for coming along today. Um, stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Kind of see some updates along the way. And my next video on this will probably be when I'm putting tomato plants in. So we'll see how that goes. So anyways, catch you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.